occasionally when I work with the uh, generate buildings uh, tool in architect tools you have city maps like this where the buildings are very close to each other and if you don't group it and generate your your buildings for these settings you'll find that everything is, is uh, joined together in one big mesh which I personally find a bit troublesome when I want to further uh, details of the buildings so I can't get hold of one on one each each building so for these types of um, maps I choose to make a group and I'm going to make a group out of each area or face it finds before it push pulls it up to volume so if you go into this now you see this one solid group for everything which is still not quite there where I want it to be as in I would want um, one group for for each building so we can do that by selecting all the groups that makes it one building uh, make group and we want to turn that into one solid. Now I could use solid tools, but that removes the little edge that went right across there, which is clearly not my want. So I undo that. And this is still a group in all the parts. Uh, but they have a merge solid buildings button. And if you click that, and then open up, you can see it's been merged. It didn't clean up everything, but you can do that manually. And it removed the internal faces and the bottom um, internal edges, but left it kept the top bottom and uh, the top edges in there. And I don't actually need these, I actually want them to be all joined up. Because later on, we'll use the magnet tool, click, 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 and it immediately picked up the correct points we want brief to be. Press return, and there's that. You can do this to it once more. From this, select all the groups we want, make it into group, click merge solid buildings, push pull that back because we want all this to be a planner because they're going to unfold correctly up into the, um, the mapped measure geometry. I'm just going to use the magnet tool, return. And there we go. And it, it each roof surface isn't planned, so it automatically softened and smoothed the um, the internal edges there. And you can just work around way around that the whole map like that quite quickly. Now occasionally you have buildings like this, which requires a slightly different work. I'm going to group that. Now, this one has got some holes in it because of these uh, pieces here. And I don't actually want that. I want this holes to be gone. So we have filled solid holes. Rhythm quite nicely, like that, and then we want to want 
to use the magnet on this and on actually yeah as you can see here if I did that I clicked here you can see it picked up on these vertices there instead of going all the way up to the top there which is not what I want I could adjust it by using this although there's a strange bug going on but I can also just do what I did previously and just push pull that back and make that into a separate group join them and then magnet magnet to just that up and that up I still get an annoying bug which is really annoying I'm probably going to cause havoc if I press return now yes well that didn't work well Let's get undo. Sometimes, yeah, there's a few bugs like that. So sometimes I need to go back and forth to to make everything work. So I'm just going to do that. That's close enough for the time being. And I can now take these. Join them and like that. Now closely follow the the buildings. So right, uh, we still have these. We can still. It should be adjusted slightly as well. And I um, don't think that uh, would work actually. Like that. So I have one solid and another solid. Four of them. Use solid tools, outer shell. Outer shell is also bugged sometimes like that. I don't know why it does that. Maybe union will work. No. So when that happens, I need to do it one by one. For some reason. And there you go. There's one clean solid with the volume. And it follows the recorded mapping data perfectly. Now, all of this, you just use the combination of these tools to quickly sculpt uh, the volumes back up to the original um, the, the measured data. Maybe we're missing a part of the inside. Let's select this. It's quite a nice tower. And group merge and quickly let's go magnet magneto point and I can do this section which is a missing apart. I'm not going to care about right now. But, oh, missing even more points. Get these, copy, 
paste and merge. I still want these to be planner because it just works better when Maybe it get confused sometimes. So I'm just gonna temporarily remove that. Could be inaccuracy in the in drawings. Yeah, it, it picks up the top edges instead of these guidelines there. And I get that bug back. Oh well. I have to see if we can get that fixed. Yes, clearly something is messed up. Thank you. It, okay. Yeah, it, it's very really difficult to get things a hundred percent correct uh, on some of these things because there's weird precision inaccuracies that just spreads through the model once you import um, these types of CAD data. So, um, I find that normally the um, the neural maps are a lot easier to work with as the precision is much better. that it doesn't take a whole lot to finish this this city.